Just pick up your phone and give me a call, and I'll give you your personal daily horoscope. It's just that simple. Astrology, call, once confined to kooky TV commercials in the back of newspapers, is having a moment, bombarding social media feeds with memes and articles. My leg description, I'm like, that is me. That is I've never taken astrology seriously. But when I heard my roommates figuring out their astrological compatibility, I decided it was time to find out what it's all about. I met up with Stony Brook student Tyreek McIntosh to learn about why he uses his horoscope in his everyday life. I like to wake up and I like to read my horoscope and you know see what's in the stars for me that day. Um, it doesn't necessarily dictate what I'm going to do that day. It just more, more or less helps me be the person I want to be. When I told Tyreek I didn't relate to my sign, he told me about a popular new app called CoStar that gives you a free reading of your natal chart. That's a map of the exact location of all the planets at the moment you were born. The app is top 10 in the lifestyle category, and I see why. Its analysis of my chart was actually super accurate. Pretty impressive, but I'm still not completely sold. So I decided to do some research and then meet up with Kayla Rivers, a practicing astrologist and tarot reader right here at Stony Brook. Turns out, she has a lot to say. Astrology shows how you internalize how you're socialized. And it makes you feel valid and it makes you feel like an individual. Some people like to say that you can see predetermined things about your characteristics, about your livelihood, things that are going to happen to you to help shape you as a person. According to Kayla, one reason astrology is so popular with my generation is because most people born in 1997 have their Pluto and Sagittarius and Jupiter and Aquarius which means we're the generation that's going to question things, the generation that's going to challenge the status quo, the generation that is a little bit more open to different religions. She also attributes its popularity to the supernatural shows and movies millennials and Gen Zers grew up with. People are willing to get into the unknown. Like they want to test out different things that they've never thought before. A big argument against astrology is that, well, it's fake, not based on actual science. My whole thing is I could do these things and they could literally have no effect. But if I believe they do, then that makes it real. And I think that's what people have to learn about when having conversations for astrology. It doesn't have to be true for you. Do not invalidate that for somebody else. So despite what I first thought, astrology isn't something meant to control your life, even if you are a believer. So if you want to ask someone out, go for it. Even if the stars say it's not the best day for love. For Stony Brook News, I'm Liz Pulver.